six stays out. 105.4, which is a new low weight for me. Typically lower on Sundays because it's Saturday night is the one night that I sleep till, I don't know what that meant, but it's the one night I sleep until whenever I want. So my body gets lots, lots of rest, which definitely helps tighten things up a bit. Hey guys, so you're just seeing some uh, posing type photos. I do photos every Sunday morning to send to Mark, so I'm just getting some progress pics. I usually get into my bikini poses to get a good idea of how things are looking. Um, first thing Sunday morning after I go to the bathroom before I drink any anything, so everything's looking all tight and good still. And here's a little footage that you guys will be able to see up on tigerfitness.com this week. Help your rice cake. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna pimp We're out some rice, rice cakes, cakes today, MTS nutrition style. All right, and here's some, uh, I wanted to show you guys some training footage. I had done my cardio in the morning, but then Jason and I went back to the gym. Um, I wanted to wear my cute little outfit as <laughs> seen here and just get in a little extra training. I was feeling super motivated. I have been feeling super motivated, so I just kind of wanted to have fun and do a few different like fun movements, like pull-ups I haven't been doing consistently. Um, but I just love working back. So I also did some of these uh, lap pull downs. I don't know why I always screw up the name of the exercise. Um, but yeah, my back is clearly my strong point. Well, I've always said it's my strong point, but now looking at the physique I'm bringing to stage this time, I'm like super proud of myself because I feel like I have multiple strong points. Like before I used to always just say it was my back and now I'm like, shit, look at those abs. Look at my core. You know, my shoulders are popping, my booty looks good. Like I'm really just like overall super pleased with the package I'm bringing to this show. Like regardless of what happens, um, regardless of what place I get or don't get, I like it's lame, but I shall say it again and again. I'm already a winner because I've never worked so hard in my life and I feel really, really good about it all. Um, check out those Lulu leggings that I got on sale for 40 bucks. One size too small for me, so I may not fit into these after the competition. They're, they're a little tight to get on my, uh, my body, but I love them. They're super cute and fun. So anyways, you're just seeing some back footage. Um, I don't normally go to the gym looking this cute, <laughs> but... As I mentioned, um, this was the second workout of the day, so um, I was all prettied up for the day. So just doing some one arm pull downs. These are awesome. These seriously kill your lats. It does not take take many reps of these to get your back really sore. And I just, this is probably one of my favorite things to work in the off season, or just work in general, um, are my lats and getting my back to look whiter. Then I threw in some bicep curls. Um, I feel like I made bicep improvements too. It's crazy. I feel like I've made improvements everywhere. Taking two years off, I guess you should see improvements or else you're probably doing something seriously wrong. Um, but I know I've had a few people ask me what I've been doing for biceps and nothing special or crazy, you guys. You can stick to basic exercises and it's just about doing them consistently and, you know, pushing yourself. And biceps are one of those things that's hard. Like you can't just like go up 20 pounds one day. It doesn't work like that. But, you know, I did a lot of biceps. Um, so a couple times a week, two, three times a week I was hitting biceps. So that definitely helped. And just to get a nice little booty pump, because um, this was the last day, basically, I was doing any like booty or leg stuff. So some of these kickbacks, you guys can see a ton of different variations of these. I like to do it kind of with my knee coming up um, to really, I don't know why I feel it more in my glute. And then I like doing this little kind of pulsing um, action at the end where my leg's a little bit straighter. It really pumps the blood to that booty and gets a nice little pump back there. Um, so I did that on both sides. I do like doing, um, cable stuff a lot for, for booty exercises. Um, again, there's so many different, like, weird things you can do for booty, but 
it, it's always good to keep it basic too, you know, and just kind of really focus on the muscle that you're you're working. You know, you don't have to like be super creative and out there. You can just do basic exercises and you guys can see improvement. So I'm um, pretty happy with how round Matushi is looking still. Um, hopefully that, that sucker stays nice and full and plump for show day. I want that thing to be like huge on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like bikini girl just wants a big ass up there. So um, these might look like weird or not hard. I'm not sure how they look to you. I saw these on Instagram and I actually really like them to work the outer hip. Instead of doing a machine, just slap a weight on there. And I'm really trying to like lightly hold the weight and kind of keep the the weight on my leg so I'm really feeling that 20 pound, 25 pound plate on my leg and really working it. And do higher reps of these, but I'm telling you guys, just keep doing them, alternate your legs. You will get that outer glute sore. So that's a really good movement if you haven't tried that. I usually do hold on to something for balance. You can um, work on your balance by not holding on to something, but my balance kind of sucks. And I think I finished off with these. These are clearly just some uh, glute bridge raises. I'm so sucky when it comes to naming exercises. So I'm not a trainer. I never <laughs> claim to be hip thrust um, just to get that extra, you know, booty squeeze. Um, I just hate how it kills my, my hips, especially now that I'm a little bit leaner, even though I don't usually have a ton of fat on my hip bones, but it is good to place a mat there if you have one, but there's usually never one laying around when I need it. So. Hey guys, we are at Target now. It's like eight o'clock at night and I'm gonna be honest, I am exhausted. Um, we did go to the gym this morning and train this morning. Well, actually I just did cardio and then um, basically did videos like all day long. Um, just a lot of videos and <laughs> then went back to the gym, did more training more cardio, posing, and it's just been kind of like a long day. So now we're at Target, we're gonna get a few things. I need some things for my peak week and just random stuff for the house. And we'll show you what we got and that will probably conclude today's random vlog. We have to show that we're getting bananas for Winston. <laughs> Are you filming still? Yeah. Rocking them Lululemon pants on sale. 40 bucks. What are you looking for? I wanted to find like a maxi dress to like a cotton one to wear the day of the show. Cause like a nice soft cotton won't rub on the spray tan too much. These are all kind of ugly. I just vlog your butt and ask your butt questions. I don't know that my butt will answer. If you had some beans, it might answer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could eat some beans right now. <laughs> I don't know if I feel the stripes. Do you? Not really. I feel like you look like a zebra at a zoo. <laughs> Named Ernie. Ernie the Zebra. Does YouTube like this one? That's not really cotton though. It's really too hot. You know what I mean? Mm hmm That might not. Show everyone the purple one. Material, then I could just slide it on over my bikini. Mm hmm. Yeah. Or I don't know if I'd take my bikini off in between. You usually don't. I usually don't. I usually just leave it on that way because you get sweaty and then it like messes with your tan to keep taking that on and off, especially when you gotta like adjust the girls in there. So. Well, this is like a one time wear dress. Let's not put too much thought into it. Alright. And let's just Go with get this. it. Just get it. Okay, let's 
moving on. Yep. I've never actually pumped up behind stage, but I know a lot of shows will have like people fighting over the stuff that they have there to pump up. So I want to buy a band to bring with me. Now that I actually have veins and stuff, I feel like I can get a good pump on show day. Plus I have to eat like a Reese's or Twix or something, so I'm gonna eat that and pump up. See if anything. Ooh, what are these? Little thin ones. How many of those can I eat? Four cakes is 23 carbs. I'm gonna get thin ones too. What do you think, two? One of each? Yeah. Yeah. Where would honey be? With like Ooh. Me. That looks good. Ooh. So we got the rice cakes I showed you guys. I got some classic almond butter Justin's. Just got some cheap honey that I'm gonna be putting on rice cakes for show day along with the almond butter. Got some sparkling ices, cause I love these, they're super good. And then got a couple bags of the Target steam in a bag sweet potatoes to eat this week and some eggs and a banana for Winston cause he's a little minion and likes to eat bananas. Jason's ice cream. And I had to get a little butter because on show day, I'll be eating just a little butter on some pancakes. And garbage bags and contact solution and that concludes our target shopping haul and this vlog i hope you enjoyed this random day of footage please like it share it with others keep checking back see you soon if you fall off and get hurt i'm not to blame don't hit no potholes i can't see if there's potholes you're in my way i'm riding the cart guys riding the cart <laughs> must be nice to just like ride in the cart while, you know, your wife who's dieted down is pushing you on it and tired. Target's getting some good hungry. advertising right now. And thirsty. And now it's getting hard because we're going up a hill. Push. Work that booty. Work that booty. Are work you going that booty. <laughs> work that booty. Booty. I don't want to work the booty anymore. I'm tired. <laughs> People have been bed. great. They still follow me even when I wasn't competing. But I don't know. I Maybe it's the level of excitement I've shown this prep, but everyone on YouTube has just been so overly supportive and positive and encouraging, and you guys give me good feedback.